and welcome to our new series called Legacy. I've got some red tags here and some white tags. And so the red tags just represent those things in our life that are super important, whether it, you know, eternal things, things that are going to matter for our legacy after, you know, we're facing death and we want people to remember us by these things, right? And so just to give you some examples, like a red tag uh, might be sharing about Jesus, that would be a red tag. That would that would be something that would last forever, right? Whoever we share with, that's never going to go away. Going to have eternal impact. There's also some things in our life that are really more white tags. Maybe um, for you, it's it's grades, and maybe you spend a lot of time and energy um, worrying about your grades. Or maybe it's if I can pick this up, um, it's your phone, or it's money or it's even food, right? Or whatever it is, just imagine all the different ways that you spend your time and energy and, and think about what is it that are really, if you were to lay them all out, that are really white tag things in your life versus red tag things. Because I think the reality is that most of us probably spend a lot more time and energy on those white tags than we do the red ones. But the white ones are the ones that really, they, we worry about them all the time, but they really don't matter that much in the big picture, right? I mean, our legacy is ultimately going to be determined by those red tags. And if you're here today and you've accepted Jesus as your Savior, one of your red tags is union with the Holy Spirit. Now, this didn't always, it wasn't always the case, right? There was a special thing that happened called Pentecost. Now, Pentecost had been around for a while. It was a feast that the Jewish people had, but this particular one was the one after Jesus had died, just about 50 days after he had died. And the believers were kind of, I think, trying to figure out what in the world to do now that Jesus was gone. And so they all gathered together, and this is what it says. It says, when the day of Pente Pentecost arrived, they were all together in one place. And suddenly there came from heaven a sound like a mighty rushing wind and it filled the entire house and they were sitting there as divided tongues as a fire appeared to them and rested on each one of them and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. And so crazy, crazy thing that happened, right? Just a miraculous thing because this was the first time in history. I mean, this is a moment, you guys. This is the very first time in history where the Holy Spirit had made himself available to all believers at all times. Now we see him show up earlier in the Old Testament, things like that in special situations. And he certainly has existed for all of eternity, just like God, the Father and Jesus. But this is a unique and incredibly Man, just magnificent moment in history because at this time, it's like God was saying, I am going to be with you in a very personal way to all of you who choose to put your faith and trust in Jesus. And see that, that power that we get by that indwelling, that's the fancy word we use that to just remind us that the Holy Spirit lives within us who believe that just gives us this incredible power that fuels us to kind of carry forth the cause of Christ. And, and it allows us this great privilege to share with others, the good news about Jesus, right? And I hope that you feel excited about that today, that, that you too will want to do that and spend a lot of your time and energy, and that that could be a huge part of your legacy, that people who knew you, they knew about Jesus because you took the time not to force it down their throat or anything weird like that, but to really get to know what they believed and why and to help them understand this incredibly great news that we have. And so this is a special message that, that lasts for all time. There was this, this special missionary, his name was Jim Elliott, and he felt called by God to reach people that were really, really difficult to reach. They were known to be very violent. And, and he said this, he said, he is no fool who gives what he cannot keep to gain what he cannot lose. And I think if COVID has taught us anything, it's that, you know what, there's a lot of stuff that, that we can lose, that we, that we can't really count on, whether it's in-person school or, you know, being able to go outdoors without a mask on our face or whatever it is for you. There's a lot of stuff that we can lose. But one thing that, that we really can't lose is that union with the Holy Spirit. And it is such a gift to be able to share about Jesus with others. And so that can really be our legacy, that, that we can rely on this legacy that we've sort of inherited from those disciples at Pentecost and that we can then pass down to the future uh, people that are in our lives and we can let them know. And that can become this amazing part 
of our legacy as well. And so God wants to use you to create an amazing legacy. And so this week, it starts now. You guys, if you're in middle school, high school, doesn't matter. It can start now. So this week, I challenge you to focus on one of those red tags, sharing about Jesus with someone that God has placed in your life. And let us know how it goes, all right?